Okay, we are all set. So now we are going to uh, San Rafael Hospital, Italy. Non troppo, perché non che devo sentire. Okay. Can you? Good afternoon. Yeah, uh, can you hear us? Uh, would you? Okay, I'm S.C. Yes, good afternoon. Dr. Yeah, Dr. Lubadi here is at many uh, artists' things, things, faculties and panels here. So, uh, are you must be... Thank you. Dr. Latif? Yes. So, I'm a... Yeah, oh, I'm a team. Okay, you, okay, you are all recognized next me. to me, Antonio <laughs> Colombo. Antonio, how are you? Yeah, uh, good afternoon for you. Yes. I'm fine, I'm sorry I cannot be with you, uh, but uh, many congratulations for this uh, uh, very nice appointment that every year you put together. Uh, we have uh, two cases, uh, two coronary cases, uh, mm -hmm. uh, both uh, I think quite interesting. This first case, uh, Damiano uh, will present uh, uh, the case uh, and uh, Azim will show the angiogram. Okay, Damiano. So this is uh, a 69-year-old gentleman that uh, we uh, already know because uh, uh, in 2002, in, uh, in the context of acute coronary syndrome, he underwent uh, a PTCA with uh, a bare metal stent on the proximal uh, LAD. Then for uh, many years he was fine, and then uh, right now in the, next, in the last uh, year he became uh, uh, symptomatic for angina, then he, under, uh, he uh, suffered acute coronary syndrome, and we treated uh, the, the CERC in December 2016. In February 2017 we treated uh, the RCA for persistent angina, and right now he has uh, 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 preserved the uh, left ventricular uh, function, but uh, angina and a positive uh, stress test uh, on anterior wall. So, uh, here we can see in the next slide uh, the treatment of the left, uh, the left uh, circumflex axis. Next slide. Can we see next? Okay. Okay. Uh, here you can see uh, in the context of uh, uh, acute coronary syndrome, we treated the proximal uh, circumflex <coughs> with uh, DES, uh, Everoli Musseluting Stent. In the next slide, we can see uh, the revascularization of uh, this complex right coronary artery. We treated it with uh, five, uh, four uh, drug inutile stent, uh, also in this case, uh, Everoli Musseluting Stent. And right now, we have this uh, uh, complex uh, LAD. Uh, lesion that uh, so we maybe we'll show you today's yes. angio and and just talk a little bit about you know what we found and maybe discuss with you the strategy. Uh, we'd love to hear uh, um, SJ what you think about this lesion. So as you can see, there's a stent in the LAD. Mm -hmm. There's disease, long disease in the LAD involving these two diagonal branches, uh, which are both to us important diagonal branches. You know, they at least two and a half millimeters, the, disc, the second, the first, even larger. Well, if you show the spider, <coughs> you see more clearly the stenosis on the first diagonal. Okay. Here, here you and here you see the first diagonal it has got a critical stenosis. The second diagonal has got a critical stenosis with this sort of intermediate disease in the LAD. Um, so really this intermediate disease in the LAD with two diagonal branches involving two diagonal branches. So our approach uh, uh, is a little bit uh, unconventional uh, in this case because it's not common, but uh, um, my suggestion was to do a single stent from the LED towards each diagonal and then uh, uh, maybe consider drug eluting balloon in uh, the distal uh, part of the LED mm -hmm. Uh, in order not to place two stents. Uh, of course, uh, uh, the final decision will be after the kissing, and uh, it depends uh, how good is the result of the LED. Absolutely. Yep. So, Azim already placed uh, two wires, three wires. We are going from the right, right radial, radial with a the seven French uh, slender. producer, mm -hmm. but he's a slender, so basically he's a six French the room introducer, which allows the seven print guiding cast. We give heparin yeah, as, usual, we, as usual, and uh, that's it. So we start to, to dilate uh, the, distal. Uh, the distal. I think uh, both lesions are critical, and uh, we don't need FFR. Uh, 
Any comments? Uh, hello, Antonio. Hello, Azim. I am Louvre speaking. So I have to say that this will be probably the same approach, the radio, the three wires, and uh, uh, try to put one stand. Yeah, Thanks, uh, Eve. It is not common for us uh, to place a stand uh, from the main branch towards Piccolo the side branch. But uh, I think uh, okay, in this go. case uh, it's a little bit uh, different uh, because we have also disease in the LED. Yeah, we still, uh, it's still a 111 uh, by Medina, but uh, the most critical uh, is uh, the ostium of the, yeah. of the diagonal. Yeah, it's, un it's unusual to be provisional on the main branch, the but balloon, we wanna be, yeah, you want to come back a little, a little bit more, more sure. LED. We come back a little oh, bit more towards the LED, okay. okay. That's fine. You, you, will, you will be doing what we call we inverted provisional stand yeah. from the main to the side. Yeah, yeah exactly. So we are at uh, 12. So uh, it's a, a specific aspect, which is, of course, yeah. a difference in diameter between the proximal part of the stand okay. and the distal part, it which is okay. in the side branch. There was a bit of resistance, as you saw, getting the non compliant balloon into the diagonal branch. Um, so this is a good pre dilatation, 16 atmosphere with a non compliant balloon down. Okay. Antonio, you have a problem so with your microphone. I just want to check we, now we how your balloon well. travels. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, you have. You you have you know, there's, eh? they, there's still a little bit of resistance oh. here, so I'm just going to do another now, dilatation. No, same tone no. Okay, no. clear. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. Okay, okay. but they okay. said that they have a better. Okay. There's that's still good, a bit good. of resistance going down with the used balloon, yeah. so I just want to dilate again. So we are at uh, 20 atmosphere now. Perfect. What size it's balloon? Uh, what size? Safe. Okay. It's a 2.5 2.5 non-compliant non balloon. Okay. Okay, I think it's just the stent that yeah. causes a bit of a hang-up. Okay, okay, let's take let's a good a picture. So this is a very solid uh, pre-dilatation. Looks well dilated. I think there is a dissection. Eh? You see that there is a a nice uh, staining on the back. In the uh, diagonal, yeah. Going to, towards the LED. So yeah. we're going to cover that with a stent, right? Yeah. Okay. I think uh, it's a real uh, periadventitial staining, uh, which is due to straightening. But uh, I think uh, you get worried of these dissections if you don't have any stent in the catalog. <laughs> right. But if you have a stent, uh, I don't think uh, we should really consider does, should we consider a dissection a complication? I think if it's as a result of good lesion preparation, no. It I think it be. also depends uh, how extensive. Is the local dissection at the mm. site of the lesion? Or it's is a long, not, or is the long, uh, long spiral dissection? Because, uh, you know, this problem sometimes comes... Let's see the last picture, please. ...when you do ablation or not. Okay. So, I think we can start stenting. Um, we could choose a 2.5, maybe 18 yeah, stent. Yeah, 2.5, 18. Okay. Because we want uh, to hang sufficiently in the LED and to cover the dissection. The yeah. Uh, 2.5, 18. And then maybe we may have to do a pot uh, yeah. on the proximal stent. In this room, uh, we use onyx. Uh, Metronic. In the other room, we we'll use the rumor. Right. So that's our <laughs> state. Our reasoning, yeah. Mm. Um, uh, we may consider to do drag eluting balloon in the distal portion, but uh, again, let's the see how it goes out the provisional. Will come uh, after uh, we do kissing and after Ivus. Uh, we want to make sure that. Uh, the LED is not compromised, yeah. you know, we are one. not dealing with the side branch, we are dealing with the main branch, so it's very important. So we have a Let's make sure we just have good guide support here. There's a bit of resistance here, huh? 
because there is another stent. There's another stent which we haven't dilated. I just get the wire down a little bit more. Get some more support. Well, you see it's not passing. I think we may have to dilate the LED a little uh, bit more. We'll see now. Let's get some more support from our wires. Hi, there we go. It just jumped. So what I did, instead of pushing, I just held, yeah. you know, more, held it down. You know, the thing so with the meta stent uh, is easy. You know, with the BVS, it's going to be difficult. Yeah. Eh? Okay. Let's do the a little thing is, uh, is, and Let's we'll take check. it with contrast. Yeah. I think it's it looks fine. Good. Yeah. I think we can inflate there. I think uh, uh, it's clear that there is a dissection, so we don't need uh, yeah. So this is a 2.5 by 18 uh, Medtronic Onyx stent. So um, nominal stent is 12. Is nominal is 12, so we're going to go at 12. We're not going to go very high because, uh, again, the lesion is well prepared. This balloon is fully expanded. You see, yeah. it's a very nice. Uh, I like to keep the balloon up at least uh, 20 seconds. I know that maybe people go up and down, but uh, I think uh, to allow full stent expansion, make sure that the pressure stays at 12. If it goes down, you go back uh, at 12. We can deflate. Okay. So, uh, now I think uh, we need uh, to rewire the LED. Mm -hmm. uh, some people use the same wire. Some people take another wire. I think it depends uh, uh, how tight is the residual lesion now. Uh, if it's uh, very tight, it's better to take another wire. If he's moderate, maybe you can... And so do you, Dr. Gombe, do you think we need to do a pot here, or it's okay? Let's see what we get. Uh, yeah, with three wires, you're always going to be careful. Yeah. You know, they get intertangled. Uh, I'm Jack from the Taipei. We will check the eyeballs yeah, before any intervention, because there's some kind of stain, instant stenosis. We want to check the mechanism and the uh, damage and relation yeah. with the publication. Yeah, but you Ibus? Know, by Ibus, what you're gonna, the diagonal is not going to use more than, uh, than 2.5. And uh, the LED, you know, when you have instant wrist stenosis, is always a combination of under expansion and proliferation. So yeah, on the bottom right. line, you're going to dilate anyway. So I don't think this strategy will change. Do you want to take a picture yeah, first? Yeah, let's take a picture and show uh, everybody. Maybe do you want to use the same wire to go in the LED? They see floor, uh, well, the wire, you know, it's got a big curve in it, it, so it's probably a little bit ruined. It's a universal wire. I think oh, we should probably use the wire. same wire will be okay, easy to cost, no? Okay, four wire. Yeah. I think... Uh, you want me to use the same wire? I can use, use the, the same, same wire. wire. Let's try. I think it's not very tight. Let's try. I think you can use the same wire. Okay. You guys really want to test me. As you can see, it's a bit ruined, this wire. I think it's so. Just take your time. No, oh, I think it's damaged. Oh, it's really ruined. Okay, I okay, think we need take a new it wire. out, take it out. <laughs> okay, use the new wire. I think, you know, once you, you have the wire distal with a J... So, and uh, basically, and you, don't, you don't need any... any you're going to need a wire in the diagonal later on. Huh? Yeah. I uh, honestly, when I said, that when I was talking to use the same wire, I was referring to the LED wire. To pull the jailed wire. Yeah, to pull but the we usually don't pull the jailed wire, right? Yeah, but because if it gives is, you a nice marker. But if the result um, is pretty good, uh, you know. I, it's okay. These are some personal details.
Okay. Okay, we first go. Good, so we're into the stand first. Okay, and uh, you can use the jailed wire to go in the diagonal. Okay, okay so let's uh, use, uh, uh, for the LED, I think we should do 2.5. What do you think? High I pressure, think 2.5, because I think otherwise we risk yeah. High you pressure. Know, causing we can a dissection. Use, uh, I think I will use a new balloon, because uh, we already inflated uh, mm -hmm. the other one. Let's use... Uh, mi dà un altro 2.5-12, uh, we need another in the flato because we're going to do a kissing. We're going to use a 2.5 uh, used, uh, used balloon for the diagonal okay. and a 2.5 uh, new balloon uh, for the LED. <coughs> okay, let's okay. get the new balloon first and we'll so open up the struts towards for the, the LED. LED. To open the struts for the LED and uh, uh, 2.5 for the diagonal and then maybe at the end uh, we're going to do a long uh, drag and right. balloon. Okay. So we are going first in the diagonal. Well first we're going to go now towards the LED, right? And okay, open up yeah. the struts. Well, we stay here until uh, 5 to 2. Okay, okay, so good. it opens pretty well. We yeah. can inflate. Because the stenosis on the LED is not severe. So when I do single inflation, we go to 12, not too much. We don't want to dissect. No. Yeah. This That's is a non compliant balloon again. And we tend to do all, most of our kissing inflation with two non compliant balloons, yeah. right? Okay, down. We go with the other. Use balloon uh, over in the diagonal. Oops. And then uh, we do. We want to do Ivus now after this. Or do we, we want to? Shall we do first the other diagonal and then we do Ivus? But uh, maybe we do Ivus because we have to go in the other room. Okay. Because the proximal uh, lesion is going to be basically a carbon copy of this one. Of this one. one. <laughs> so. Okay. 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 We'll come back with the other balloon. Let's do one inflation. Uh, well, we already inflated, so we don't need. We do a kissing inflation. Okay. okay. We don't go to high pressure, like eight uh, would be enough. And this is basically already a pot. Yeah, it's a little bit oval, but it's a pot. It's a pot done after. Yeah. Usually you do the pot before, but it's okay. Okay, okay. so we are at 11 with both. Okay, deflate both. Okay, we can take out the balloons, take a nice picture. And I think here will be very important the ivus towards the LED. Mm -hmm. I think we'll do first the IVUS towards the LED to see the opening, how big is the area where we did provisional. So it's not common to do this uh, kind to of... To be uh, provisional towards the main yeah. branch, eh? Maybe pull back a little bit the wire in the diagonal. Okay, I'll pull it back in a second. Let me just get the balloons out. Okay. Mm. And uh, we take a picture. Ready? Okay. Let's just get the wire back in, a little bit back in the diagonal. And the LED. Okay. Okay. Ready for picture? Yeah. So, you know, the, the LED doesn't look perfect, huh? Yeah, but, you know, uh, we have... Uh, Let's do the iris. We don't have a stent, so every yeah. time you don't have a stent, uh, it's never perfect. Uh, the diagonal yeah. looks okay. The, prox the LED proximal to the diagonal is very nice because we have a stent. Right. So, Eve, what do you think? 
Uh, I think uh, maybe 2.5 was a bit small. About the bifurcation? Yeah, about the lady. We'd say maybe 275 if you have uh, non-compliant. You think uh, we should, uh, we should post the letter, the LED with the trio balloon? Uh, maybe trio, yeah. You're, you're not Let's see with the IVUS and we make a decision. So, uh, uh, Sator who is uh, in the... For the beginning, uh, the LED the was very clearly the bigger than the diagonal, so... So the question here is uh, the oh, yeah. size of the LED. Okay. Can we post the LED, the LED with the trio balloon? So this is the main question we ask to these IVUS. Okay. Okay, let's go from there. Can you see the IVUS? Can we have the IVUS on screen, please? So we are in the one, two, three, oh, definitely. Okay. Yeah. I think we can use a trio balloon. Yes. So here's just uh, Not a very a high pressure, there. but a trio. Okay. So let's pull back. So we are in the LED post second diagonal. Yes. Pull back is going on. Going, yeah. This is the Boston Scientific IVUS. No much plaque there. Yeah, no. Woman looks. <coughs> so there's no dissection no after the still the bifurcation. Is one, two, three. Is definitely three millimeter. Yes, exactly. Si prepara per favore un tre zero dodici non compliante. So around here we can see some plaque, but not so bad. So there we see this coming to the stent. Yeah. Yes, so okay, here, here. Approximately there is some plaque, it's not yes. so bad. Eh? Not so bad. But uh, I think uh, we are justified to use a trio balloon towards, towards LED. the LED. So I think uh, we repeat uh, a kissing with a trio balloon on the LED yeah. and the 2.5 on the diagonal. Right. I think uh, uh, Eva would have used the trio anyway from the beginning. and uh, would have spared us from doing the IVUS. Right. We are not so sharp and we need <laughs> the eyes to confirm. <laughs> but I think uh, the rule uh, is that LED... So this is the proximal LED. There's a lot yeah. of there's disease there, you know. A lot of disease. We'll do, fibrotic. Yeah, we'll do a measurement now and tell okay. you what the minimal lumen area yes. is. This is now proximal to the diagonal, the first diagonal, yeah. where it looks good. But so definitely on the LA, possibly LED is trio, maybe high pressure trio. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe we can go in the other room. Eh? So what I will do is I will kiss this bifurcation again with 302.5, and then I'll do the same thing on the proximal bifurcation, and then I'll call you. Yeah. And we look yeah. and we decide what we do so, in the LED. Okay, okay, let's go in the other room. In the case while I prepare... Okay, uh, thank you, Dr. Colombo. Um, Antonio, want to present the case? Okay, good morning to everybody. We are introducing the history of this uh, healthy 91-year-old female uh, with a previous history of uh, arterial hypertension and uh, hypercholesterolemia. The patient had a uh, recent, uh, in January, unstable angina, which was managed conservatively just taking uh, some uh, medical therapy as uh, aspirin, beta blockers, uh, and statin. But uh, a couple of weeks uh, ago, the patient had a relapse of her symptoms uh, with evidence of rising troponin and uh, new evidence of akinesia at the level of the apex uh, and uh, in the mid-distal part of the lateral wall. So the patient underwent uh, a, an urgent uh, coronary angiography which revealed uh, a B-vessel coronary disease. Next one, please. As you can see from the angel, the patient had uh, two uh, disease, uh, disease of the two vessels, a mid distribution uh, of the marginal tubes, uh, and also a disease of the uh, LAD involving the proximal part. As you can see here, you can appreciate a very calcific disease uh, involving all the proximal part of the LAD with a, a suboclusive uh, uh, lesion. Next one. From the angel, you can also see that uh, the right coronary artery has not uh, 
some uh, uh, very important disease and so our strategy is to uh, treat, uh, first of all, to fix the lesion of the proximal LED and then uh, also to treat uh, the obtuse marginal disease. Okay, so uh, the lesion in the LED is definitely calcific. So our strategy is really, you see, there is a chunk of calcium. I think uh, if you think rot ablation, you have to do rot ablation. We're going to do rot ablation. It's a long disease, eh? starting from the very proximal. The ostium, I think, in this view is okay, and uh, goes uh, right after the second diagonal. So uh, Lorenzo already placed uh, a rotor wire in the LED, yes. and we have already a 1.5 burr yes. uh, in... Uh, in the LED. Blood pressure is fine, is 100, and patient is stable. Any comments? Uh, yes, it's uh, always a concern to treat uh, such old patient. So yeah, I think uh, we, have, we have to be cautious. So I agree for the use of, uh, of rotablator here. Uh, we are not uh, very fan of rotablator now in Massey. We sometimes try uh, we palpate with, uh, with a balloon and after that we take a decision. But here, what we see is a real uh, highly calcified vessel. I think the best uh, is to do the rotablator. So I agree with you. So um, where would you uh, stop stenting? You see in the cranial, uh, in the cranial, uh, AP or RAO. Can we see? So see, uh, I have a question for you. Uh, do, do you have really to cover the yeah. proximal part of the LED, or is it possible to stand immediately proximal to the, no, to think, the diagonal, uh, to I the center? In this view, I stop, uh, I stop uh, uh, a little bit before the ostium because yeah. uh, it's, very, it's very large, the yeah. proximal LED. So I'm not going to go to the ostium. I'm going to stop... Uh, where there is a very small diagonal. But Pers distant, personally, I will stop immediately stop? before the second diagonal, uh, not to go too distal. To have a, if you go from proximal LED to distal, term, the second, eh? to distal to the third diagonal will be 48, maybe more. So it's a very long stand. So personally, I will do from proximal LED and stop so you will before the second the diagonal. Curve. Maybe you can, we can see another projection, to be sure. So you will leave the... This, mod, this legend distally. Vediamo, let's see the area. Vediamo l'oblique a destra. We did that call, though. Yeah, oblique yeah. the straight side. Uh, there, is a, there is a plaque also. I mean, what's wrong to go with, a, with two stands, maybe a, a 2.5 in the most distal part? And then uh, a long uh, uh, trio post dilated with yeah. 3.5. Because the second lesion is uh, yeah, nasty. Is yeah. there. Eh? Yeah. It's also That's in this projection. Yeah, it's a short in one. The area oh. you see it. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's start with the rotablation. Okay, so the rotablation is uh, now. Inside the left main, okay, we are in the proximal LED, which is fine. Over there is large. We are very tight here, so the brake is on. Let's come back a little bit with the wire. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Pull back while I do it. Come back with the wire. Okay. Okay, that's fine. One, one, two, five. One, two, five, size bar. One, one point five. One point five, yeah. One point five, right. Over there, I have some resistance. Not much. Yes, true. Let's take a, a test. Just make sure that we are not having slow flow. ECG is yeah. fine. Film. Flow is preserved. Mm -hmm. 
So the second legion there was some friction. Some resistance here. You see. There is still some friction there, eh? Mm -hmm. Let's take a picture. I think it looks okay. I think yeah. it's enough. She tolerated uh, pretty well. At this point, it's just you see there, where the second yeah. lesion, there is some haziness. I think it's already dissected. It's yeah. fine. What it's a local. Uh, what about this lesion? Do you consider using a larger burr as well? No, I think it's okay. The okay. fact that the burr, you see, in the proximal lesion, the burr goes down. Uh, Pretty well. I have no no deceleration. There is no deceleration there. I think it's just uh, so to remove the burr. We do the same as we go back in. We take. Uh, facciamo vedere qua, per favore. We make uh, a loop. Uh, Facciamo vedere, ok? We make a loop, we open the brake, we have a large loop here, we go in Dynaglide, and basically is nothing particular except you don't really need to hold anything. And we come back on Dynaglide without doing even anything on the wire. Everything comes automatic. Stop. Ok. That's it. So if you leave, uh, now you can remove the yep. brake and remove everything. And uh, I like to change uh, the rotablator wire. I think yep. some people still work with this wire, but uh, I think uh, we have this one. blood pressure is good, uh, 120. Flash on. I In think uh, we go with the two. Okay. Ci da un pallone del 2.5, 2.5. Uh, you have the over the wire uh, balloon to exchange the wire if you want? Yeah, we have it. Uh, 2.5, 20, non compliante. We use an over the wire balloon to exchange. Some people work on the rotablator wire, but I think it takes a minute to change. It's better. Yeah, it's safer and more comfortable. Yeah. Can you hold the yeah, wire? Yeah, I'm holding the wire for you. Antonio, will you protect uh, the, 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 big, the two so, big diagonals? Yeah. I, I don't think so. They are not, um, they are not diseased. I, I think uh, maybe Sound not. The See, over there, there is some uh, resistance. Dissection where there. we had... Uh, the dissection. Okay. I think uh, you know we should uh, let's inflate this balloon. Okay. Let's inflate this balloon. Yeah, we don't need to prepare. Let's inflate without preparing. Yeah. Okay, inflate the balloon at ten. Ten. You don't see the balloon because it's not well prepared. Okay, 15. 15. How long is this balloon? It's 15 millimeters. Down. Yeah, it's moving. Yeah, okay, let's do another inflation. Went down a little bit. It's enough to change uh, the wire, but I like uh, to make sure down I think it's enough we can change the wire let's do a test and make sure test play for what you know we are really where there is a yeah. the lesion eh? I think uh, we have to try to go down with the balloon more I don't want to take any chance Maybe we even need a microcatheter or a new balloon. A smaller, short balloon, maybe. This, this balloon has already been inflated. We got a fine cross? What do you uh, think? Let's use a, a monorail. Can we use a monorail balloon to dilate? 
pallone monorail e l'uno e mezzo remove this balloon togli il yeah. pallone leave the wire remove this balloon 1.5 1.5 monorail just to be on the safe side you can take a chance and remove the wire and cross but uh, I don't think uh, okay. there is any reason to take any chance we take a 1.5 monorail which is usually lower profile and then uh, we go back with, this, uh, with a new 1.25 over the wire balloon ok it's just, uh, it's just a matter of being a little bit on the conservative side but on the safe mm -hmm. side 1.5 sì. so this is a monorail which is usually a little bit lower profile And uh, we're going to open uh, the way to the 1.5. So it is important. Uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of, okay. Yes. Let's see how this balloon goes down. Okay, so the 1.5 is monorail is usually better. Inflate 10, 15, 15, 18. Yes. Okay. Down. Inflate again. 18. 18. Down. Inflate again. 18. Down. Let's take a picture with the balloon there, see if we have opened enough. Okay, I think we can do another inflation yes. a little bit lower down there. 18. Yes, 18. Down. Okay, so now let's use an over the wire. Yes. Apriamo uno nuovo, il new over the wire. Over the wire. 1.25, 1.25. Michele. Just to do it. 1.25. Just to do a wire exchange. You know, we could have tried with the, with the wire, but I think it's just more... Yeah. Cheaper. Safer to yes. do like this. Eh? Yeah. Uh, any comments? Would you have done the same or would you have done differently? Eva? For me, exactly the same. So, so you plan to put a, 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 a 2.5 stand distally and a 3.0 long stand proximally. That's your plan. Yeah, yeah. Because as we see, the vessel now is big, uh, even uh, after the distal diagonal. goes down, and then uh, maybe we go back to Lati, to Azim. You have the wire after we have shown that this balloon goes down, hopefully. This is a brand new over the wire balloon. You see the difference between the monorail and the over the wire. Despite uh, having dilated. Friend, uh, no, no, we go down. Okay. Um, can I have a, a Grand Slam wire, please? Okay, yeah. What we do. I think we need better support from the guide, which will always be welcome. So we place 
a grand slam in the LED or in the circumflex is better in the LED to get better guiding support because we have to go down also with a 2.5 balloon. Do you consider changing the rotor wire with the grand slam? Because it's a three meters wire. But uh, I need to cross with the balloon first. Yeah. I don't want to cross that area yes. with the grand slam. I think if I place a grand slam in a diagonal or some place, it will give me support to the guiding catheter and I will be able to cross with the balloon. So we are in a diagonal yeah, with a grand vessel. slam. Now hold the... Let's get into with the guide. Now that we have a grass lamb. Yeah. Okay, old. Yes. Okay. Okay. It went. Salva? It went. You see how we jumped? Eh? But uh, we did what we are supposed to do. Okay, we can Salva. remove. Uh, so the grass lamb really made the job. Eh? Yeah, Salva. And now we go with the 1.114 uh, yeah. universal yeah, wire. Yeah. And we leave the grand slam, which will do two things. We'll protect the diagonal and we'll give better support with the guiding catheter. Okay. We can flush out this balloon with the Nanto. Okay, so I think we can go back uh, to uh, Azim while uh, we do a pre-dilatation of this LED and maybe we come back here when uh, we are ready to stent. What do you think? It's okay? Yeah, good idea. Let's we'll go to 16. We'll go to see Azim. 16. Okay. Può andare dal dottor Latib? Per favore. Azim, we are, with, we are with you. Vain dietro, indietro. So let me tell you where we've been. Okay, so, no, indietro, indietro, prima lo stand. So remember, we left you, we're just done kissing. Go back, go back, go back. Go, go back. So we've just done a kissing of the distal lesion, and this is where we left you. We've yep. started working on the proximal diagonal now. Go forward. We pre-dilated with a non-compliant balloon. Forward. So the 2.5 non-compliant balloon, this is after pre-dilatation forward. We then put an onyx 2.5 by 26 millimeter stent from the LED to the diagonal, the first diagonal. We post dilated that with 3.0 in the diagonal. And then we did a pot with 3.5. That's the result after the pot. Next. Uh, we then repassed uh, the struts, you know, using a the distal rewiring technique. Um, and now we in the process of doing a kissing uh, on this proximal bifurcation. And then I would love to have your opinion, Eve, on what you would do for the LAD. Yep. We we'll see. Okay, so this is three zero and three zero. This is double. Yeah, it's two three O's. I, two three O's. NC. I know that the LED is 3.5, but I'm, I'm worried, NC, I'm worried about dissecting it uh, if I go 3.5 towards the LED. Which one's the LED? Yeah. Where's the one? Okay, let's just get the LED back a bit. Okay, let's go. Inflate we'll both together. This is in the book. Six, eight. Eight. Okay, negative. So we'll take these balloons out, we give a little bit of nitro, and I show you an angio, and we can make a decision about the LED, whether you want me to do, whether you think IVUS will help, or um, I think we have a, you know, a couple of different things we can do. We can maybe do drug coat balloon, or we can do a long stent from the proximal LED, 
to, to after the second diagonal and then recross, essentially do two collots with one stent in the main branch. Okay, some nitro, please. Okay. Lava? Flush the nitro. Flush? Okay, perfect. So I'll give you an angel now. So the two diagonals look very good. Um, what do you think about the LED? Give me that. So, um, normally in my place we are not rich enough to have IVAS, but uh, if you have an IVAS, maybe we have, uh, uh, <laughs> we, we can look at the IVAS because we have it. So. Let's do an IVAS. I agree. Yeah? Uh, yeah, because uh, it's instant with cyanogen IOD, maybe yeah. you can try the DEB. Evidently, imagine it. There is a drug called in Ballon. Yeah, that's the discussion. Okay. Either doing a long so uh, do donating balloon or um, You know the nice? Yeah. Okay. The nice thing about a long drug yeah. called a balloon is that if the result's good, we don't have to recross or do another kissing. Yeah. You mean long, long stain so from the LED to second digital? Yeah, so, so the, the option is a long drug rating balloon mm. from and distal uh, to the second diagonal to proximal LED okay. so versus, versus a long stent and uh, it will be a double culotte with uh, one long stent in the LED. Double, so, the but if you do that, you have to exchange a wire and do kiss. With a drug rating balloon, is not sure. necessary. So. And we have to do two kiss, we have to kiss twice yeah. again. Yeah. So here's the IVUS. Uh, we just distal to the second diagonal. Uh, let's do a pullback, please. Thank you. Uh, we have Dr. Daisuke with us as well, who will help us interpret the IVUS. So here we come to the bifurcation. So you how see is the situation here? So here we're doing an IVUS. You come at the perfect time, so we have to make a decision. This is an IVUS on the LED after we've done, uh, we've stented and kissed both diagonals. So this is the mid-LED where there's a previous stent, which you see is a bit under-expanded. Uh, not bad. Lumen is okay. lumen's not bad. It's circular. How does it look angiographically? I will show you now in a moment. Obviously, you know, it doesn't look as good as the diagonals look. Here's the, we come to the other bifurcation. You know, it's not too bad. No, I no. I mean, it's not too bad. The amount of residual disease. It looks worse on angel than it does on ivus. I will use a, a so, trio drug eluting balloon. So let me just show you what the angel looks like. And then, okay. one second, let's just see. Okay, okay, we've seen this. Stop ivus. Let's see the angel okay, now. The angiographia. So this is the angel. I will probably we'll use a drug eluting balloon. section distally. Because you actually, if you look where the worst part is, if it's actually inside the previous stent, you know. So maybe a drug coated balloon is not better. 3 by 30, 30 drug coated balloon. 30. Yeah, 30. Yeah. We do the whole area. Yeah. Mi da un pallone medicato? Pallone medicato del 30. 3 0 30. Agent. I think having seen the IVUS, Eve, it convinces me we can try the drug code balloon. Agent, uh, you know, usually medicato. they say you, if you want to stand, do IVUS. In this case, I think actually the IVUS maybe we can um, ask, uh, you know, reassures me that maybe drug code balloon will be enough. Here? Will you finish with a, with, with a double culotte or will you? Uh, if you look at the IVUS finding the distal, uh, second distal part of, uh, you know, uh, LED area, there are some, you know, plaque and some ruptures, uh, uh, you know, uh, with a balloon inflation. So, um, depending, uh, however, the Antonio uh, considers the minimal lumen area is quite good. Uh, proximal LED is some encircling calcium. Yeah. However, minimal lumen area is still good. And so, so uh, Antonio, you consider the real thing. Here, here, where are you measuring here? Mm -hmm. All right. Where are you measuring here? Uh, this is, uh, Mm. Distal, how much, how many square millimeter? Uh, 4.3. So, uh, distal to the second diagonal, mm -hmm. uh, we measured a lumen cross-sectional area of 4.4. Point, 
4.35, which is quite good. Eh? Not bad. 4.35. The fact that there is a small dissection uh, doesn't bother me as long as the residual lumen is large. Yeah. So it's 4.35. It's a very good. Uh, it's a very good residual lumen. Uh, yeah, I, think, I have uh, to admit, you know, we, when we and Antonio discussed the case before, I was keen to do a stent after seeing this result and the IVIS. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, a drug coated balloon um, is very acceptable. You know, there's no, there's no flow limiting dissection. The residual lumen area is very good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like in the old time where we did the spot stenting. I use IVIS uh, to evaluate. Maybe so, pull back a little bit the wire from the LED. Yep. So, uh, the, so this the is a Cirolimus. Scientific. I said, no, it's a Cirolimus coated oh, balloon. Oh, it's a Cirolimus. Yeah. So, so we stay with a, Limus in this patient. So it's a nanoparticle yep. Cirolimus coated balloon. It's called Magic Touch. Um, it's the first commercially available the name is Cirolimus quite, uh, The name balloon. is quite... Uh, Amazing, a eh? magic touch. Eh? It's got a very nice profile, small check. A little bit more, I would go like Yeah, that. I think okay. one balloon is sufficient yeah. because proximally you have a stain. Okay, go. Okay, we go so to... So similarly to other drug coated balloons, you know, you go to mm -hmm. nominal Ten. and... Long duration. And then you leave it for about 40 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, at least uh, 40 seconds, one minute, even one mm -hmm. minute. Uh, back to the, you know, either balloon uh, endoplasty. So let's go <laughs> in the other room. Eh? Okay. I think uh, you come back when you are uh, ready to do... We show you a final, final angel. angel. We, yeah. I mean, if you wait one, if you wait 30 seconds, mm -hmm. I give you a final angel right now. And okay, then we're done Okay, okay, let's do yeah. like this. <laughs> and then you don't have to come back. Okay. So another 20 seconds. Uh, okay, we have 30 seconds now. We'll go... 45 You know, least. 40 seconds, I think, is more than enough. So do we have any data about this uh, Cirolimus salutin balloon? Mm, very minimal data for now. There's a large European registry going on called the Eastbourne Registry, so we'll have some more data, but the data is very limited right now. It's a small mm -hmm. study, um, first in man study, so quite limited data. Okay, we, we okay, for one minute. Mm. Okay. Yeah, some, some residual waste in the proximal part. Cirolimus. Okay, mm. let's do an we'll angel. Take a picture. I think I it's like this visual. Can we have a, it's better. Uh, let's, let's see, see another separate the septal there. Let's do a, see? You know, I, 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 I understand that you see a dissection distally, mm -hmm. but uh, again, uh, the lumen looks fine. You see, it's so a linear a small dissection. Linear dissection distally. It's a linear dissection extra luminal. Uh, let's go in the areo. Vediamo obliqua destra. There is no question that uh, with the stent uh, that dissection will disappear, but. Uh, I think uh, with the IVUS result, uh, let's do, uh, Azim, yeah. let's do another IVUS now. Okay. Make sure that the dissection is stable. Okay. Yeah, it's no, very it's, good. It's eh? not bad. It's let's not bad. do There's another no... IVUS. Check that the dissection is stable, that the lumen did not deteriorate, ah. that is still 4.3. If it's the same, we're not going to do anything. Let's go in the other room. Antonio, it is a, a kind of a, you know, old concept, the therapeutic dissection I mean, with the balloon. You know, and big dissection, anterior the flow is good, the minimal area is good. As a usual, you know, totally different. Yeah, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a, and, and in addition, mm -hmm. I believe that segment of the LED Mm -hmm. is intramyocardial and uh, uh, when you I don't like to stent uh, uh, vessels in the, the intramyocardial segment so, so what did you do Lorenzo? So I implanted a 
18 drag eluting stand and I overlapped it with a 3038 drag eluting stand. We postulated with a 30 and 35 at high pressure and we just there. So you just did everything, eh? No. Good. <laughs> so I the, haven't checked yet. I must say that the 2.5 balloon distally crossed easily yeah. with the with the grand slam in the diagonal. You still have the grand slam in the diagonal. Yeah. Let's take a film. You want to give nitro first or? Oh, it's okay. okay. Let's take a film. Okay. Looks okay. The diagonal is a little bit compromised. Yeah. What do you think? We should wire the diagonal? That's Are you good. afraid that when you remove the grand slam, you, you the pain, diagonal will close? Have you pain as the deviation? Team is, three, team is three floors. No, the patient has a symptomatic and the EKG is fine. She has a left bundle branch block. At base what do you think of the second diagonal, the, the diagonal where you have the grand slam? Yes, should you, we you, remove the grand slam? Uh, and, uh, yes, you can try to go with another wire and the op open with a balloon, but I don't think this is the kind of vessel you can stand. So, for me, uh, okay, remove the grand slam and see. No, no, but I just want, don't want don't to wanna lose it. May also be spasm I, a bit. Uh, 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 let's take a, a universal wire. Can I have a new wire? We also have a filter uh, open. Okay, we have a field open. Let's use yeah. the field. Let's get the field. Uh, field abbiamo una field uh, già aperta. Yeah. We have Here. a field already on the table. So, uh, we're going to go with the wire, not because, uh, we, as uh, Yves said, uh, we want to stand, uh, but because uh, it's, we may go with the balloon. I always like to finish the case uh, with the same number of vessels we started, yeah. including side branches. So, well, if it's possible not to lose uh, any side branch, uh, it's better. As uh, Lorenzo said, we have a stiff wire in the diagonal, so maybe we are dealing also with some spasm. But uh, let's see if it's not too difficult to cross into, let's go selective with the left main. into the LED, a little bit of friction in the stent. Can we use a little bit of magnification, a venti? The filter FC, yes? Test. Test, perhaps? Oh, it's okay, I can see. Okay. okay, crossed quite easily. Okay, let's remove the grand slam. The grand slam is the, is the green one. Okay, let's see if we still have, uh, have the spasm with this soft wire. Let's take a picture. Are you going to nitrate? No. Oh, I think you can. I think, uh, can I think like we this. don't need uh, to dilate. Uh, I think this yeah. diagonal will stay open. So uh, let's do an IVUS now and decide how much we need uh, to post dilate. Okay, we still have uh, uh, eight minutes, uh, but you know, our strategy now to summarize uh, will be to do an IVUS uh, yeah. and uh, decide uh, uh, how much we need uh, to post dilate. Uh, most probably we will post dilate for sure, proximally, and most probably even distally with a 2.5 non-compliant balloon. Yeah, we we did no, you did post the yeah, oh. With a 3.0 distally and a 3.5 proximally. Oh, you already post the Yeah, just okay. before you came. So maybe it's okay, let's so see. So we are done, we are done. Okay, let's do the final IVUS. And uh, uh, I think the diagonal looks okay. Uh, we don't need to, to dilate, it's open. And I'm sure we'll stay open after we remove this wire. So, 
Sato, we are going to do a final IVUS, okay. hopefully. So we go distal yeah. to the stent. Okay. We are ready for pullback. Yes. Okay. Okay, let me start. So here's the distal to the distal stent. The best size is 2.5, 2, almost a 3. Trio, you pass the letter with the trio, huh? Yes. So okay. Not at the distal edge, though, to avoid dissections. And but the distal stand looks okay. Yeah. No. Yes, looks okay. there's no dissection. Very symmetric. Yeah. Yes, we're expanded. Very symmetric. There's no mara position. Yeah, you're going to see in a while the wire in the diagonal. Looks very nice. Look a very nice symmetry. Yes. I think when you do autoblation is better. Yeah. You won't regret it. Yeah. Now branch is coming. Yeah. Yeah, the branch there. There's the other wire in the middle of the screen. Yes. Yeah. So actually very Lumen expanded is very well yes. expanded. He's yes. uh, you dilate it with high pressure trio here. Yeah. High pressure is uh, 20 and above, right? <laughs> yeah. Lumen is very nice. Yes. Uh, very nice lumen. In the you dilate here with the 3.5 or trio? 3.5 mm. here. Here, 3.5 post dilatation. Look how the calcium is well broken. Yes. Very Residual expand. lumen is fine. You see two wires at the 2 at 4 o'clock. Lumen is very nice. Just some crack on the uh, calcium is pushed on the side. Very nice lumen. Look how big lumen. Now another diagonal is coming yeah. very openly. Yeah. Very nice lumen. <coughs> I like that. You're close to the proximal I don't lines. think we need uh, to post dilate. I think... Uh, so far we're expand there is no yeah, more position. We can remove the wire from the diagonal. Yeah. We're going to take a final picture just to demonstrate uh, that the diagonal With stays nitro. open. Do you want to give nitro? Or yeah, let's give some nitro. Here is the proximal, still yes. the stand very symmetric. Yes, very symmetric. Mm -hmm. uh, the blood pressure okay. is the low side. Okay, yeah. Okay. So okay. No more and, uh, I think uh, they take a final picture. I think it's fine. Mm. We are in the osteo of the LED, which is fine. We remove the okay. ibus, take final picture to show the diagonal, and then we say hello. Okay, ready? You see the second diagonal is open, even the funny right. first diagonal is yeah. open. Antonio you know, is perfect yeah. I think it's fine, right. I like the result, yeah. very, very tough, clean. Very tough calcific lesions, uh, yeah. you know. So I think uh, the, main, uh, the main reason here is the rotablation. Mm -hmm. I tell you, everything you, can, you think, should I do rotablator, you should do rotablator. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. All right, nice thank you. For a nice presentation, as you usual. So Antonio Very gave us always a always no, we like different okay. you know, insight okay. for us. Okay. Okay. Okay, c'è un po' di ematoma qui. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, I think it's a final, you know, live session from uh, Bill and San Antonio. She's uh, one of the uh, history of our intervention cardiology. So today, uh, actually from the two cases, uh, I've learned is a totally, you know, unexpected insight from the, you know, first cases. Cool lot, uh, uh, I expected the cool lot uh, to kiss in cool lot. Uh, however, he charged the drug looting balloon, so it looked like a, old concept, you know, dissection and anterior to flow good and we're going to make a drug eluding balloon, right? Uh, so, all right, we will learn a lot. So, it's time to close uh, last uh, live session. I'll see each other next year, two, uh, 2018, from the 28th April to the 1st May. And see you, everybody, next year. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. See you next year.